Hey everybody, so today is going to be a bit of a longer video um, because I will finally be fixing something that has been starting to fix something that has been a major problem in this car for a while. The rear end. This car does have an LSD swapped into it, but currently it leaks something terrible, uh, like a quart a week, and it essentially identifies itself as an open differential because the clutch packs are so worn out. Now, I need another axle to go into this car while I rebuild this one. So if we walk over here, we have this. So this was this man's car. Um, we had a little bit of a run-in with a bridge, but this car has an LSD that I have now purchased. And today we will be swapping this LSD into that car. Well, this video didn't end up turning out exactly how I wanted. Uh, I wanted to be a little bit more informative, show you a lot when I was putting the axle back into my car, but it ended up being a rush because there was a storm coming in and then it started pouring rain before I was done with the swap. And I had to finish it as most of y'all can probably tell in my videos. I have a pretty short amount of time whenever I'm working on my cars, so I needed to get it done. So I had to keep working in the rain, but I had to put the camera up. So now I've been kind of dreading putting it together because I know the video wasn't going or putting the video together because I knew the video wasn't going to turn out exactly how I planned it to. But this was actually done back in early December. So a lot of the other videos where you've seen Greg, the 85 RX-7, it's already had the axle on it. It's been done for a while. Like the whole Christmas on the Dragon, the axle was already swapped in. So now you all get to see what all went into, at least some of what it went into swapping in this axle. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the uh, brake line. We're just gonna leave the brakes on it. Um, so we're gonna disconnect it from the bottom of the car. And since this one's actually, the solid line is like crimped around itself, we're just gonna take some snips like this and just cut it. That way it can just come right off and uh, we won't have to worry about that. The next thing we'll do is we'll take the, take the shock mounts off and then start working on these and then undo the sway bar, leave the sway bar in the car and then we'll slide it on out. Okay guys, so there's been a little bit of a change of plans. We're gonna actually have to take the sway bar fully off because we're not gonna be able to slide the axle out on the jack stand. So to knock this sway bar off, all we're going to do is just, these are both, it's a 14 on the top and the bottom. Oh, this won't fit. There we go. Just zizz wheeled off or impacted off. This was just holding it at the top. Now make sure you don't lose all the bushings and hardware and everything. And that's how you get the front off. And then on the axle itself, oh, there's still a thing in here. Yeah. Have to run it on a little bit and then yeah. pull it off. We'll get back to y'all in a second. The nut's stuck in the impact. Okay, so now there's just one bolt on each side that holds it onto the axle. That slid right off. There we go. And now it's off and the little bracket fell off. Okay, so that's it for getting the sway bar off. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to undo the bottom of the shocks and just leave the top of it in the car. Uh, it's a 17 on both sides. You can see if the wrench will kind of grab itself up to the top. Oh, there we go. They broke right loose. Um, at this point, you want to ensure you have something under the axle because once you get these off, the axle will just fall down. Okay. So we just kind of abruptly stopped there, as you all saw. Uh, 
The next two steps were unhooking the two control arms and then the watts link. All it is is literally they actually have like bolt like little nubs to keep the nut from spinning on the back side. You can just put an impact or a socket on there and just take them off. Simple. Watts link, just leave it hooked up to the axle in the center. And then there is a mount on the top uh, of the car, and then there's kind of one that comes down because you know it pivots on the axle, back of the axle like that. Just take that bolt out, that bolt out, and then you can just slide it all off. Axle comes right out. Uh, then you know you can leave the springs in there and just kind of slowly let it down. They'll just fall out. So that's what we did. Uh, sorry we had to just like quickly jump to being back at the house. We were doing it at the guy who wrecked the car's house, and his parents were going home, and they we had to clear out so they could have space to get back in and everything. So we had to hurry up and get out. So now we will jump into a time lapse of me removing my axle. Okay guys, we're in the, the middle of uh, doing the axle swap here, see? I was actually just filming a time lapse of taking this one out. But we got a bit of weather coming in here. Uh, so the rest of this video is probably going to be pretty wet. Hold the field over there, hopefully your cover stays on. Oh, yep, here comes the rain. Awesome. Um, I'm not going to finish the time lapse, so I don't want to leave my phone out in the rain, but we'll pick up the camera for the uh, really important part. Okay guys, so um, as you can tell, it kept raining uh, since that last little update I did. But we got the axle out, um, you can tell why it was leaking. Uh, all these bolts are loose on the uh, pumpkin, so I guess it's actually leaking from the top and then going around the bottom. Um, 
doesn't change the point, so it needs to be rebuilt. But, so now that this one's out, it means the one over here that we took out of the other car now needs to go in there. So, uh, let's walk back over here. There were some things I didn't show y'all. So, uh, we left the uh, top control arms connected. Just took the bolts out up at the uh, front. It was 21 mils that hold those in. Here at the watch link, we just used, uh, we took these out, but we will be swapping the one from this axle onto that one because that one's junk. Um, these had, I believe, 17 mil bolts. And then we took the uh, shock off and then we took the lower control arm and that was just two 21 mil bolts as well. So, um, we'll real quick swap over this watch link and then we'll shove the other axle in the car. For the most part, the rest of the swap went pretty well. We found that the brake calipers on the axle I got, they were seized. They weren't doing anything on the other car. Um, when we put it back together, put my calipers back on, couldn't get both sides of the parking brake hooked back up. Not entirely sure why. I had honestly never done anything with the parking brake before on these cars. I've always messed with race cars that didn't have them. Uh, but we got it all back together, got the brakes bled. And then my brother and I left. I mean, so we were pretty moving pretty quick there at the end in the rain. And I was getting pretty miserable because <laughs> in the morning it was like 75-ish degrees. After it started raining, it dropped down to like the low 50s. So I was freezing. But we got all back together and the axle's still in the car and doing well. And hopefully sometime I can have some time to rebuild the axle took out of that car so I can put an axle into Matilda. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Sorry it didn't turn out as well as I was hoping. It's kind of all over the place, but you know what? It's how it turned out. So thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe.